presentation about work performance and sleep in real life. There are several studies uh, reporting the negative effect of sleep loss. For example, sleep disorders and poor sleep quality, suboptimal sleep duration are associated with higher productivity losses. From the 2005 US National Health and Wellness Survey, Insomnia was associated with loss in work productivity and with impaired activity. <coughs> the loss in work productivity or impaired activity is referred to as presenteeism. Presenteeism is an individual loss of productivity at work because of physical and psychosocial conditions and illness. The economic cost or productivity loss due to presenteeism is higher the cost of absenteeism. Not only sleep disorders but also chronotypes are associated with negative outcomes. For instance, late chronotypes showed lower performance and poor mental health in both in college students and in community sample. Um, recent studies suggested late chronotypes were significantly more likely to arrive late, be dismissed from class, become sick, and miss more days due to sickness. One possibility for lower academic grades or absenteeism is due to misalignment <laughs> between circadian clock and the social clock, that is referred to as social decline. The objectives of our study was to investigate the relationship between presenteeism, absenteeism, and chronotype and social jet lag. We hypothesized circadian misalignment uh, have an adverse effect on work performance. The effect of presenteeism would be clearer than the effect of absenteeism. On the other hand, chronotype party have a little or no influence on work performance. A web-based cross-section survey was conducted among registered monitors of survey company. The monitors who were matched in age, sex, and resident area to a Japanese representative sample. This figure shows uh, the location of survey entry. A total of 10,000 monitors responded to the questionnaire. To examine chronotype, social jet lag, and other sleep variables, a Japanese version of Munich chronotype questionnaire was used. The impact of health problems was assessed using the eight item version of work limitations questionnaire. It consists of uh, four subscales, time management, output demands, fiscal demands, and mental interpersonal demands. We also ask the self-reported number of absent days, sociodemographic and lifestyle characteristics of individuals, like a smoking status, alcohol consumption, physical activity, uh, disease under treatment, duration using display like a smartphone or PC, that's PM, uh, were also collected. We excluded those who uh, provided invalid answers uh, whose age was under 20 or over 70, uh, who did not have a regular work schedule or engaged in shift work, who used an alarm clock to wake up on three days a requirement for determining the chronotype on MCT2. The final sample for the analysis was 3,700 participants. Using a uh, mixed sleep time on three day collected for sleep loss, chronotype was categorized into early, intermediate, late types in each age group because MSFFC changes with age. Social jet lag is defined as the difference between mid sleep on three days and that on one day. And 
categorized into less than one hour and more than one hour. Two way, a two-way analysis of variance was conducted to compare percentage, percentage, and other variables. The combination of presentism and absenteeism among six groups categorized by social deadline, uh, small or large, and categorized by chronotypes, early, intermediate, late types. There was no significant difference in absenteeism. On the other hand, there was a significant interaction in presenteeism. The simple main effect analysis showed. Uh, that there, there was no significant main effect of chronotype, whereas large social data groups showed more productivity loss than less than one hour uh, small social data group. Next slide shows the comparison of subscale scores of work limitations questionnaire. In physical job demands, there was neither interaction nor main effect of genotypes <coughs> and social data lab. In time management, output demands, meta interpersonal demands, there was significant interaction. Uh, we can see the main effect of chronotypes, why the score was worse in large social data lab group than small social data lab group. Next, we examined work-related variables. Uh, there was a significant interaction both in work start time and work start time and working time. Work start and working time is was early in early chronotype and late in late chronotype. Large social jet lag group in early chronotype showed uh, late later work start and work end time, while large social jet lag group in late prototypes showed earlier work start and work end time. The average bedtime and wake up time on work days and on three days were indicated in these figures. The bedtime and wake up time was late in intermediate chronotype compared to early chronotype, as well as in late chronotype compared to intermediate and early chronotype. Large social data group in intermediate and late chronotype showed earlier bedtime and earlier uh, data time. On three days, large social data group in each chronotype showed later bedtime and get up time. The previous studies, like Fing Risk Survey, suggested that chronotype was related to health outcomes like depression, cardiovascular disease, and type 2 diabetes. However, the present study showed chronotype pathway did not affect on work performance. Individuals with less than one hour of social jet lag in late chronotypes as well as early and intermediate chronotypes keep workplace performance outcomes. The present study also suggested even a small degree of social jet lag misalignment relative to large misalignment such as those experienced by shift workers affect presenteeism, not uh, absenteeism. In summary, the study suggested chronotype does not relate to self-reported work performance, but rather the mismatch between self uh, chronotype and work schedules is associated with self-reported work performance. Thank you for 